everyone, my name is Lila and I'm from the Edison Public Library. Uh, today I'm going to show you some crafts just to occupy your time and just to decorate some things. So today we're going to be doing some rock painting. Uh, rock painting is a fantastic way to decorate your garden or your neighborhood and it's quick and easy. So let's get into the supplies you're going to need and I'll see you in a bit. So before you start with anything, make sure to cover up your surface to avoid any messes or stains, anything like that. For this particular craft, you are going to need some rocks. Uh, you could just get these out of your backyard. Uh, they apparently also sell them on Amazon. Uh, make sure they are washed and dried just because you don't want to get any dirt, into your, dirt in your paint. Uh, some paint brushes, paint of course, and Mod Podge. So all of these will keep your rocks looking nice and clean. Uh, so let's get into our craft. So like I said previously, you're going to start off with a couple of rocks from your backyard or any that you decide to purchase. Um, make sure that they are in, uh, that you wash them before you start this craft. Uh, it might take a day to dry, so keep that in mind when you're doing this. So I have a couple of rocks here. I'm going to start off with this one just because I keep picking it up. So these guys are going to go to the side. So once your rock is nice and washed, uh, you can just start painting. I'm going to paint this a nice little yellow. Uh, so make sure that you're keeping it, keeping the paint even. And this is going to take a second to dry. So I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Once you have your rock all painted, I know I'm, I'm holding a different rock now, but same concept. Uh, make sure you have a nice even coat, that you're coating all the areas that you possibly want to decorate. Uh, so for this particular project, I'm going to be using this side of the rock. Uh, you can use either your paint that you were using earlier uh, with just like a fine, just with like a fine uh, paintbrush or uh, they also sell things such as paint pens. Uh, these are good just for deta detailing. Uh, so for instance, if I want to, I got some yellow paint on me. Don't want that. Uh, for instance, if I want to put some dots on this rock, then all I have to do is just that. Now these pens work just the same as paint. So if I want to do some little yellow dots in there as well, I can. So I'm just going to keep going with this process and I'll show you guys it once it's all done. So see you in a bit. Once you have a few rocks decorated and completely dry, just make sure nothing's going to rub off. Uh, we have a couple at the ready here. Uh, you are going to break open your Mod Podge. So Mod Podge is basically a water-based sealer that puts a nice coat over the rocks. So if you plan to put these outside, uh, it would be a fantastic idea to keep up the designs you made by covering them in Mod Podge. Now, when you first put the Mod Podge down, it kind of looks like a glue. So you're just going to put like a nice thin coat across it. So we're just going to cover all of these up just to make sure I keep my design. You don't need too much, uh, just enough to cover up everything and make sure that your design will stay on there. Uh, and for my purposes, I'm just going to do the very tops of my rocks just because there's nothing on the bottom at all. Uh, with this particular Mod Podge, there's going to be a nice little gloss that's left on there. 
and like your paint you're just gonna have to leave that to dry for a little longer so you notice how it came off clear uh, so after a while those white spots that are on there uh, they will start to dry up and again leave a nice gloss and a nice sealant over your rocks so I'm gonna keep going with these and I'll let you guys work on yours as well so see you in a bit so after letting them sit and dry for a day, after putting the Mod Podge on them and everything, uh, I have these lovely rocks that can go in my garden or wherever I want to put them in my neighborhood. Uh, again, this is just a fun little project that you can do on the side if you have paint, if you can find some rocks. Uh, so yes, I hope you enjoyed this crafting video and I'll see you soon. Have a good one.